What's up guys, Rob from ClicksGeek. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to go through and optimize a Google Ads Smart Campaign. So obviously, if you're watching this video, you guys understand that you're very limited when running Smart Campaigns on what you can actually do to uh, try and filter out bad traffic. But there is one big thing you can do, and I'm gonna show you how to do that today. So before we get into that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check out the links in the description. We put some stuff in there for you guys, including a free course and a free book and a bunch of other stuff. All right, so let's get right into it. You're looking at our ClicksGeek Google Ads account, and we have that smart campaign we built last month with you guys on another video, and we're going to go in and see what we can do here keyword-wise. So you're not really going to be able to do much optimizations except for this one thing, which is you're going to come into... So actually, it's two. Th you can do two things, actually. You can add more keywords, and you can turn off bad keywords keywords right so we're gonna let's start with number one we're gonna add more keywords so come into keyword themes you can see here here's all the keywords we're going after because we're obviously a pay-per-click company and it's suggesting more keywords that you can go after so you can take a look at what they're suggesting and if there's something in there that you like you can add that so we'll do PPC advertising PPC marketing these are more broad type services for us it's not really what you know PPC advertising I don't really know the intent behind that but for this example in this video, I'm just going to add it just because it's, you know, it is what we do. PPC advertising, PPC marketing. And if you don't, don't understand what I mean by intent, it's um, when I was creating these video, when this uh, campaign, I walked you guys through how to find, how to go after just the high intent type keywords first. So that would be like PPC company, PPC agency. So I know why someone's searching for this, right? You don't really know why someone's searching for PPC advertising. They could maybe be looking for a company or... They could be looking for training or they could be looking for something I'm not even thinking about right now, right? So it's obviously always start your campaigns with the higher intent stuff. But after you get some data and some conversions, it's always good to come in here and just see if there's something you can add, right? To expand your campaign further and pull in more clicks. And I look at adding new keywords as kind of like casting out a new fishing net. And the more nets you have, the more fish you're going to pull in. All right, so that's one way to do it. Next is search phrases. So these are all of the phrases Google is showing our ads for. You can see here the impressions. Now, unfortunately, you cannot see what phrases are getting you leads. So unfortunately, you can't do that with smart campaigns. But there is some things we can do. So you can see here I already started. If you're going through your keywords here, you can toggle off keywords you don't want Google to show your ads for, right? So online SEO service, we don't do SEO, so it doesn't make sense. SEO internet marketing, don't want it. Web marketing, way too broad, we toggle that off. SEO services, toggle off. PPC websites, too broad, toggle that off. SEO agency, I mean, that's not what we are, so no, we toggle that off. So that's a little bit of, uh, and obviously, guys, I have like 11 clicks in this campaign. So if you're, doing, if you're running your campaign and you have like 50, 100, 200, whatever clicks, you're going to have a lot more keywords to sort through. But this is something that you definitely should be doing on a weekly basis in your campaign, in your smart campaign, to uh, kind of just whittle down and just let Google know, I, you know, that you don't want to show for these types of keywords. And the more you turn off, the more Google's algorithms going to understand, okay, I don't, they don't want this type of stuff. Now, I also just had a client, and that's not showing in this specific account right now for some reason. But we just had a client who had a new beta feature for smart campaigns. I should have actually started with their camp with their accounts. So you can see it, but I believe now you can actually add negative keywords in the smart campaigns. I don't know if that's everyone's account. Like I said, we're not seeing it in here, but in our one client's account, there was a new option that said beta, and it was it was under the keyword themes and search phrases, and it was um, adding negative keywords. So that's huge if that's uh, something they're going to roll out. And if they're testing it, I'm sure they will. So keep that, keep an eye out for that too in your account. If you see under the keyword themes and search phrases, it might say like beta, add negative keywords or something like that. All right. So obviously, if you guys need to do that, you have to add negative keywords if you have the option. If they give you that, take it. All right. So that's all I got for you today, guys. Quick video. Um, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Again, don't forget to subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next video.